This is a $50, no, no, $100, actually no, $200 annual fee credit card. But did you know you can actually hack it and have it for $0? In the 10 plus years I've been in the credit card game, I've seen cards come and go, but I have never seen a credit card provide this much value all coming in at a $0 annual fee. So if you're on the fence about your next credit card and you eat food and you have any slight interest in travel, then this is your next card. Introducing the no annual fee built MasterCard. Now, I wanna be respectful of everyone's time. So I'm gonna give you the TLDR so you don't have to sit through this entire video because there are three types of people that this card is for. Type one. If you're someone who likes to travel, get this card. Type two, if you're someone who likes to eat food, get this card. Type three, if you are someone who currently or in the future plans to pay rent, get this card. And if you happen to be all three types of those people, or you're just someone who loves a screaming good deal, then you needed this card yesterday. And that's it, that's the entire video. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can feel free to check out my affiliate link down in the description box. However, if you're still sitting there and watching, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna deep dive into this card and prove to you why this card at no annual fee punches way above its weight class as it competes against cards with $100, $200 plus annual fees. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how you can get thousands of dollars of value from this card. Oh, and potentially a free helicopter ride. So go ahead and pull out a notepad, pop a squat, tap the thumb icon, and let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now, if you've been on the channel, you know exactly how this is gonna break down. We're gonna talk about the sign-up bonus, the earnings, the benefits, and of course, since there's no annual fee, we're just gonna jump right into my verdict and final recommendations. However, if you are new here, hi. I'm John of John's Finance Tip. This is a channel we talk all things money, making, saving, investing, hacking, and today we're showing you how you can hack your way into having a car that probably could well charge you an annual fee of $100 or $200 plus for $0. All right, let's jump into it. Sign-up bonus. Right now, this card has a whopping sign-up bonus of zero which is honestly a bit of a miss. And this has been my biggest gripe of the credit card since its launch. I mean, every single credit card in the marketplace right now offers some sort of sign-up bonus. And for them to really have nothing, it's just, I can't compute. Of course, they do make up a lot of ground with some of the later benefits we'll talk about, but this is one to note. Now, even though there's no public official sign-up bonus, there are reports of people who get offered kind of like a quasi non-public sign-up bonus where they shoot you an email after you've been approved to tell you that you can earn five points per hour spend on all of your purchases for the first five days. I sadly was not offered this, but my friend was, and he applied a week after me. So I don't really know what the criteria is. It kind of is a bit of a dice roll of whether or not you would get it. If you have this card currently, did you get the 5X for five days offer? I'm curious to note, but officially though, there is no public sign on bonus. Next section is the earnings. The no annual fee build MasterCard earns three points per dollar spent on all dining purchases. So for the type two type of people, the people who like to eat, there you go. The card will also earn two points per dollar spent on all travel purchases. For the type one type of person, the person who travels, there you have it. The card then earns one point per dollar spent on all of your other purchases. And finally, the card earns one point per every single dollar that you spend on rent. So if you're the type three kind of person that pays rent or plans to eventually pay rent, there you have it. Now I do wanna double tap into this rent feature because it's very unique and it takes a little bit of explaining. So all the points that you can earn excluding rent Unlimited, you can earn as many points as you want from spend on dining, on travel, and all the purchases. On the rent side, every single year, you can earn a maximum of 100,000 points from rent, which I would argue if you're spending 100 grand a year on rent, maybe it might be time to consider buying a place, but hey, not here to judge. Now, specifically how the rent feature works is it actually is the only credit card on the marketplace that lets you earn points to rent. Because right now, if you take any other credit card to pay for rent, you're gonna get hit with a 2%, 3%, 4% processing fee. Or even worse, your landlord might just straight up say, no, I don't accept credit cards. What Built comes in and does is it gives you an account number and a routing number. And so now you get around that credit card processing issue because hey, you've got an account number and a routing number. In addition, if your landlord only accepts checks, Built can actually cut a check on your behalf and send it to your landlord. So your landlord basically says, no way, I'm never gonna accept a credit card. I'm definitely never gonna accept the Built credit card. Well, you just say, that's no problem. I'll just mail you a check. And that's what happens on the back end. Built mails your landlord a check. They say, okay, I have a check. And guess what? You still earn the points for paying rent. It, trust me, it's this thing that is just so crazy consumer centric. And if you are a renter or plan to be a renter or you're a parent that's gonna pay for your kid's rent, 
This is a card you should definitely, definitely be having in your pocket. Now the beans and greens of this entire video. How the heck does a credit card that has no annual fee punch into the weight class of cards that have $100 to $200 plus annual fees? Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first benefit, and this one is probably the most standout benefit on this credit card, is that the points that you can earn are not simply limited to being cash back because come on, every no annual fee card offers cash back. That is like table stakes. These points can be moved or transferred to a hotel or airline partner. And in the whole credit card space, this is where you get the most bang for your buck, especially if you one day aspire to fly on the tippy point of the plane where you're knocking back caviar, sipping on champagne at 30,000 feet in your full lie flat bed. That is where you're gonna get some incredible, incredible outsized value. And typically, this feature of taking credit card points and moving it to a partner, it's reserved for credit cards that have high annual fees. Typically, $100, $200, sometimes upwards of five or six hundred dollars. And the cards I'm specifically thinking of are cards like this Chase Sapphire Preferred or the American Express Gold. Great mid-tier travel cards, but could be a hefty annual fee for folks who are just getting started. Now let's walk through a couple of examples of what you can exactly do with your built points. So let's say you wanna hop on over to the Olympics in Paris this summer in business class on Air France. 50,000 points on Air France versus paying three, four thousand dollars plus. The 50,000 points you can transfer from the Build MasterCard over to the Air France program. Or maybe let's say a little bit local. Let's say you wanna go to New York City. You wanna go to New York City and stay at the Andaz on Fifth Ave. Very nice property. Cash rates over $800 or you could book it for 30,000 points with Hyatt. And to get those 20,000 points, you can transfer them from Built over to the Hyatt program. And Hyatt, I wanna remind you, is one of the best values for using on your Chase points. Yes, the Chase points that you would transfer from a Sapphire Preferred, $95, Sapphire Reserve, $550, or you can transfer it from the no annual fee built MasterCard to Hyatt. And one of my favorite examples, flying from North America over to Doha on Qatar Airways Q Suites. These business class flights might cost easily $5,000 plus per person. You can have them for 70,000 points on British Airways Avios transferred over from the built program. And what I love about British Airways is the fact that actually all the major programs transfer to them. So Chase, American Express also both transfer them. So at this point, as I'm thinking about it, at some point you're probably gonna get those higher tier cards. And so now you have another supplement to transfer over to British Airways Avios. In a little bit in this benefit section, we're gonna talk about how you can actually get not just a one-to-one -one transfer, you might be able to get a one-to-one 0.5 transfer with the build card. So the transfer partner benefit, if you're that type one type of person who is interested in traveling or does travel, this is perfectly for you. The next benefit we wanna talk about is the built travel portal. This is one I don't think gets a ton of love, but it's actually a great way to get value if you're flying domestically in economy. So if you use your built points to book travel through the built travel portal, you actually get a 25% bonus. In effect, that would mean that you get a cent per point value of 1.25. Remember, in the entire points and miles space, getting a one cent per point value is kind of like baseline. What one cent per point basically means is you take the dollar value of whatever you're booking divided by the points it would cost and multiply by 100. So an example, a $100 flight that would cost 10,000 points would be a one cent per point value. Whereas if you booked travel on the build travel portal, you get a 1.25 cent point per value just by way of having that 25% bonus. So here's an example flight that I pulled up. A family of four headed from Boston to Orlando, likely going to visit Disney World. This from Delta Airlines would cost you cash a little over $550. Instead though, if you went onto the built travel portal, you could redeem it and spend a little over 44,000 points to get four people in economy class from Boston down over to Disney World. So if you're that type one type of person who likes to travel, well, there you go. But it's not just travel benefits we have. We also have a dining benefit. Specifically, we have Built Dining. So this is a program that I believe Built has curated where they're pulling restaurants from cities around the country and you're gonna be able to earn elevated points. So I pulled up some of these restaurants in Boston. If I were to use my Built card at some of these restaurants, I would earn my regular base three point per dollar spent. And then I would either earn an additional 3x based on what I see here, or 5x, and sometimes there's even 10x restaurants in here. So you could potentially earn up to 13 points per dollar spent on dining. That is insane. So for the type two type of person who 
likes to eat food, this is a perfect benefit for you. To find built dining restaurants, all you do is pop open the app, sort by whatever city you're from and look in there. And you just have to pay with your build card at that participating restaurant. And don't worry, I did not forget our type three individual who is someone who's paying rent or plans to pay rent. So you got two really cool benefits here that I wanna call out. There's a lot more, but these are two I wanna call out. One, you can actually have built report your on-time rent payments to the credit bureaus. What that means is it allows you to build credit. Yes, you're already building credit with a credit card, but this is another positive account that's reported to the credit bureau saying, hey, look, John's responsible, he's paying rent on time, and that's gonna help boost your credit. And the second benefit for renters out here, this one's so cool, is called Built Protect. Let's walk through a hypothetical where you apply for the bill card, you get a $5,000 credit limit. Okay, great. You go, you spend, 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 and then end of the month comes up and, oh shoot, you've gotta pay for rent, but you've already spent $4,000 of your $5,000 credit limit. How the heck are you gonna pay for rent, which might be $2,000? You're gonna max out your card, get declined, oh no, you might go to jail. I'm kidding, you're not gonna go to jail. Well, Build has a thing called Build Protect, and when you enroll, what they can do is actually link to your bank account on the back end. Because assuming you're always going to have rent money available, they can directly take rent money and apply it towards rent without you actually having to charge it onto your built card. So your $4,000 of regular spending throughout the month against a $5,000 credit limit is gonna stay as that, even though you're gonna be able to pay another $2,000 of rent, that's by way of Build Protect, taking the 2,000 and just applying it to rent, it doesn't hit against your credit limit and you're good to go. Now folks, if you have a $4,000 spend against $5,000 credit limit, pay that sucker off immediately. You're killing your credit score by having such a high utilization. Now let's talk about some of the benefits that apply to everyone. Whether you're type one, type two, type three, any type, this one is probably one of the coolest benefits, even though it's like not an official public benefit in the sense that it's not like, okay, because the crew have the card, you have this benefit, but it's something that they've run pretty much as long as I can remember having the card and it's called their rent day promotion. So on the first of the month, what ends up usually happening is they allow you to earn double points on all of your spend up to a max of 10,000. So what that means is instead of earning three X for dining, you earn six X. Instead of two X for travel, you earn four X. Instead of one X everywhere, it's two X everywhere. Though for rent, it's still only just gonna be the one X earnings. In addition to just that, you also get a slew of benefits. There's actually too many to name. One of the ones that really stand out is every so often, they offer transfer bonuses. So remember earlier I said, the most value you're gonna get is taking your points from a credit card program and then you move them to an airline or hotel. Well, to get more value, sometimes American Express or Chase will offer you a bonus of 20% boost or 30% boost. Sometimes I've seen as high as 35%. Build comes in oftentimes with a baseline of a 75% additional boost, and it can go as high as 150%. So what that basically means is, let's say you wanted to move uh, 10,000 points from built over to the Flying Blue program, okay? On a regular card, it might be 10,000 built points, 10,000 flying blue miles. Well, if you get the bonus, you get 10,000, but built will give you an additional 7,500. So you basically will transfer 10,000 and have 17,500 points. And it can go as high as 150%. So you transfer 10,000, built will match you with another 15,000 and you get a total of 25,000 points. Folks, like that's insane. That's actually insane that they would offer these. Now, it's not gonna be every single first of the month, but we've seen them come and go pretty frequently. And so you never know which program it's gonna be, but they've offered them to some of the most popular programs like Air Canada, like Flying Blue, where you're gonna get a lot of value from those points. And now you're just gonna have that many more points to get that much more value from. Another rent day bonus from last year, which I thought was the coolest thing, was offering people Hyatt Globalist Elite status for I believe it was like two to three months. Hyatt Globalist Elite basically means you're like the top tier member at a Hyatt, which automatically qualifies you for things like suite upgrades. However, within that period of having the elevated status, if you stayed a certain number of nights, you would then keep that status for like the remainder of the year plus the next. That's that's insane. That's literally, it doesn't happen. Like Chase, American Express, Capital One City, I've never seen them offer something like that. So I can go on and on and on about rent days, but basically this applies whether you're a type one traveler, type two eater, type three renter, or basically, all of the above. The other benefit that applies to everyone are built elite tiers. This is pretty novel because I have never seen this on any credit card program. Built elite tiers, literally think of it as like elite tiers that you might have in, at an airline or a hotel. The more points you earn, the more spend you put on it, the higher tier that you rank. So everyone starts out baseline as blue. 
Then you have silver, if you earn 50,000 points or spend $10,000 within the qualifying period, which I believe is the year. After that, you have gold, which is earning 125,000 points or spending $25,000. And finally, their top tier elite status is called platinum, where you would earn 200,000 points or spend $50,000. And the one thing to note is the caveat on the spend, rent spend isn't qualified in that, so it's all other spend excluding rent. And I know you're probably thinking, what's the point of having built elite status? It's not like I fly them. You're right, it's not like you fly them. However, when you get higher tiers, you get better access. In addition, having higher tiers might qualify you for higher bonuses. Remember earlier I said Bill offers these transfer bonuses of 75 to 150%? Well, typically that gradient could be like, Blue members, which is everyone gets 75%, but a silver member is gonna get 100%, and a gold member gets 125%, and a platinum member gets 150%. And so that kind of accounts for the range of like who gets what bonus transfer. In addition, they finally started adding in some really cool benefits for their more elite members. So if you're a platinum tier member right now, you can automatically enroll and match yourself to have flying blue gold status by way of contributing 10,000 build points. In what is flying blue gold? Well, remember, flying blue is comprised of the Air France and KLM Airlines, and they are part of the Sky Team Alliance. So if you have flying blue gold, you automatically get Sky Team Elite Plus benefits, things like expanded baggage allowance, early boarding, and maybe a dedicated check-in lane, and my favorite, lounge access. Literally, you fly an economy, but you have Sky Team Elite Plus, you can get into some of their member lounges. That's cool. And again, you just get to enroll for that without having to ever have flown on Air France or KLM or any Sky Team member and credited miles to them, literally by way of having built platinum tier status. The other really cool elite tier benefit that they just announced is their partnership with Blade. Yes, Blade Helicopter, the people who are transporting you from Manhattan to any of the regional airports. So if you have platinum tier status from Built, you automatically get one free Blade transfer, which I think is just kind of a cool thing to have. Here you go, here's your elite status, and now you get a free helicopter transfer from Manhattan to one of those regional airports. In addition, you'll be able to get 10% off Blade flights when you book through the Built app using your Build card. And a couple other things to round it out, no foreign transaction fee, so if you're a traveler, you don't wanna pay an annual fee on a credit card that has no foreign transaction fee, Built's got you covered. And also things like auto rental insurance, as well as having self-protection. Now on to my final verdict and recommendations. So thank you for one, sitting through the entire video and you didn't click off, but hopefully this illustrated some of the benefits and how you can start really tapping into them. And really, I just wanna drive home the point. If you are a type one type of person who is somewhat interested in travel, is traveling, this is the card you get. If you're the type two type of person, you go out and you eat food, make dining purchases, this is the card you get. And if you are a type three type of person where you pay rent or plan to pay rent or are paying rent for, let's say your kids, which God bless you, uh, this is a card that you should absolutely get. And if you are all three of those types of people, this is really a card you needed today, if not, yesterday. As always, folks, if you like to support my channel, I do have a working affiliate link in the description box below. I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. Otherwise, comments, questions, drop them down below. Let me know if there's other types of people who would get benefit from the card that I might have missed. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace!